All right, and next up we have somebody local. This is one of our team members, Adrian Casita. Can everybody give her a round of applause? Oh, oh you're filling, okay, because Tony wasn't here. Tony's not here, so <laughs> I got a backup spouse. Excellent, okay. So Adrian, you do not live in paradise, you live in Borney. I live in Borney. <laughs> I thought it was Bernie. It is Bernie. It is Bernie. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> nobody knows how to say it. <laughs> All right, Adrian, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, Susan. Just kidding. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> Just what, what do you guys do? What do you and Tony do for a living? I think I've seen you around before. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, obviously, I'm a realtor here. That's what I do. I'm going to stand right here because it's okay. getting really echoes. You're, okay, but what did you do before? Did you start? Are you from? Are, were you a member at Lifestyle? <laughs> okay. How did this work? <laughs> okay, no. This so we joined. Okay, all right, all right. So we joined in 2016, and we remember. Don't start laughing. You're gonna make it <laughs> awful for me. Um, we, were, you know, joined in 2016. You know, went to David's two day, um, changed my family's life, quit my job a month later. Um, I ran a home building company in Dallas. And I've been doing real estate ever since. So you did have a little bit of a background in like construction or seeing how construction worked. Okay, but that was a little different. And it's what I always tell people like it. You know, I built houses, but even when I went to do my first house, I was nervous. I started to over rehab. I called my realtor like four times. I wanted to sell it. All the things. And you started off investing in the Dallas market. Yeah, right? Dallas. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Tony is in IT. Tony's in IT. All right. Okay, so another side fact is your dad is also a member, but he was one of those members that was like, I'm not investing in anything. That is right. My dad, my dad was a member for like 10 years, and then after our first passive deal cashed out, my dad decided maybe this was real. Maybe so, it would work. So then yeah. you, you inspired your dad to take yep. action 10 years later, yep. which is always a great story. Yeah. And um, so you were a Kool-Aid drinker. Your first experience with Lifestyles was attending the two-day with David Fisher. Was that up in Dallas? Yeah. Yep, yes. and jumped right in, huh? Went right in with my credit card. <laughs> right in with your credit card. Okay, so the Adrian, full disclosure, likes the big, nasty, huge, heavy lift rehab. So these are those pictures that everybody wants to see. Um, so this is your property here in San Antonio. You purchased in 2001, and this is in on Orphan, excuse me. And uh, yeah, so pretty big rehab. Um, anyway. Yeah, I mean, so... I don't know. I consider it a cosmetic rehab. It was a cosmetic rehab. It was a cosmetic rehab. Yeah. Let's go back to that front door. Yeah. Just. I just... mean, there were windows behind there. Oh, behind the plywood. Behind the plywood. <laughs> Excellent. So you went in. You did this huge cosmetic rehab, and so your ARV on this property, meaning what it appraised for after it was fixed mm -hmm. up, was two hundred seven. You purchased yep. it for one sixteen. Forty thousand dollar rehab. All in all, you had an equity capture of almost $40,000, and you have a, I can't see. I can't read it because it's got the thing blocked. The, oh, I'll go backwards. Oh, okay. And you have a 331% return on equity capture, and you have a $185 a month cash flow, which equals a 19% cash on cash return. And you only had 12000 out of pocket on this particular property. And that's Ruby. She's going to pay off my mortgage. <laughs> She's gonna pay. How long have you, same tenant the whole time? Oh, yes. Love Ruby. Pays her rent on time, never asks for anything. Okay, so can you explain that part of it? Is it because you do best product, best price? Yes. Yeah, like you go in there, you fix everything, and, and then when they call, you go fix it, and that's how you get happy tenants who stay. And you get tenant retention, and mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about doing a make ready or a tenant turnover or anything along those lines. You get to keep the same people. And like you said, they just yep. principal pay down your mortgage. Yep, and you no get Ruby, to... no Ruby's kids, no all the things. Excellent, excellent. So you purchased one in 2001. Now, I know when you came down to San Antonio, you moved pretty quick, and you just started buying up all of San Antonio. You bought six single-family homes. Um, of these, we have a duplex and a triplex. One, two, three, four. There's six. They were all blasts. All blasts. All that members didn't buy. Okay. So again, this is the this is my favorite part of the story because as we discussed, Adrian is a realtor here with Lifestyles, and she will send out a blast. And what I like about our agents is they will put their money where their mouth is. If a member doesn't buy it or a member backs out, our agents will buy it. So most of these, if not all of them, were properties that were either under contract at some juncture with a member or were blasted out and nobody was to take her. So Adrian purchased these properties. So these were all missed opportunities for members or turned down opportunities for members mm -hmm. that became Adrian's gain. 
So um, you purchased, what, what's the oldest property? Was Orphan the oldest? Sterling was first, then Orphan, then Barrel, then Wildwood, Navidad, and San Ignacio. Okay, so all of these properties were purchased from 2001 on. So since 2022. Or 2022, excuse me, 2022 on, and you were able to give yourself an equity capture of $294,750. It was a busy year. Since 2022. Yeah. And you gave yourself an annual cash flow of $44,760. Thank you, Beryl. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Beryl. Excellent. And so were all of these big rehab properties? Yes. <laughs> well, Beryl was the easiest. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then you also have an IRO, which we're not really going to talk about, but you do own an eight-unit apartment complex as an mm -hmm. IRO, and you are currently looking into stepping into a lead role and looking yep. at taking on your first lead status. Yes, we are. Because you just can't sit still, can you? I know. <laughs> can we give her? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we give her a round of applause for that, guys? Excellent. So what, else, what, what has changed since you have taken on all these additional projects and different roles and things? What, what's changed in your life? What are you able to do? Don't, you'll make me cry at this one because okay. like lifestyle, I mean, like, like it right changed now. our family's life, right? I mean, I do this for fun. Tony does his job because he likes it. Um, but if something happened, my family's taken care of. If I die, my family's taken care of. Um, it's... If you ever grew up and you didn't have that kind of security, when you can provide it for your family, it's life-changing. I like that she went that road. I was going to talk about how now she has chickens in a pool. But. Ooh, I do. <laughs> I do have a, yes, yeah, Susan got me a dog from a house she didn't buy. I mean, yeah, her family's going to be okay if something big happens. She bought the house. She has chickens in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun part. Look at That's a house, get a dog. You're living your lifestyle. Excellent. So you utilized Lifestyles Realty. Well, you are a part of Lifestyles Realty now. Mm -hmm. uh, your David Fisher was your mentor going through the whole process. You've used and Jillian. Several, not at all. You've oh, used yes. several vendors on the vendor list that you can speak highly of. Yeah. Yes. I love, uh, love Kevin Bain. Love A&B. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Searcher's Capital. Big fan. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Five stars. Five stars. <laughs> Excellent. So what would you tell people sitting in this room that have never taken the first step? What what got you? Well, you were the, this is a super type A. Chris will get into that too. <laughs> what, what would you give people advice to do to take that first step? I think what you said. I mean, come and, come and take the two day. At least listen to what they have to say, right? I yeah. Mean, Absolutely. Yeah. Any questions for Adrian? Come on, guys. She's an IRO. She's about to be a lead. She has six single family properties that include a duplex and a triplex. And no question, it's not a single one. There we go. If you become a lead, are you still going to do real estate? Yeah, so, yeah, so Tony wants to do the lead. I, I will be down here in the IRO in single family. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you for staying with us. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else? Any chicken questions? You want to talk about her pool? No? Baking questions. She bakes. I'm telling you, most ADD person I know. How many chickens do you have? That's the best I question. I have four chickens. Four chickens. Oh, Bruce. What breeds of chicken? The kind you get a tractor supply. That's not the right answer. You walk in, there's a chicken, you say, okay. I have an Australorp, I have a Bantam, I have a Leghorn. I have I Julian have... to thank for my chickens, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, because chickens are fun. If you don't have chickens, go get yourself some chickens. They bring joy clucking around. They are so fun. Like, they're like goldfish level. They're not a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And they poop breakfast. They do poop breakfast. They do poop breakfast. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, well, Adrian, thank you so very much. Susan, thanks for playing more.